One way to create a video slideshow is by using YouTube. You can see in the upper right hand corner I'm logged in with my Lewis Central account. To begin, I am going to click on the up arrow, which is the upload button. And in the bottom right hand corner, I'm going to click the create button under photo slideshow. If you have photos in Google Photos, you can choose them from there or you can upload photos directly from your computer. So I have a pictures folder. I can come through and let's say that I want to create a slideshow of these pictures. I have one, two, three, four, five pictures that I want. Once I've selected the first one, I can hold down the shift button and click the last one in the group that I want to upload and then come down and click open. It's going to upload all five of those pictures that I wanted. Once I have these, I can either add more photos, maybe from a different folder, or if I have everything that I want, I can click next. And I have a few editing options here, not nearly as much as if you were using a video creation software, but I can choose how many seconds I want each picture to show up. Notice now all the pictures are zooming around and, and panning from one side to the other. If I don't want that, if I just want the picture to show, I'm, I can change this to none. And now you see the picture just stays still for my five second slide duration. And the last thing I can do is I can change the transition between, between slides. So um, click on crossing stripes. Now you can see when it goes from one slide to the next, it changes the transition. I prefer mine to be a little bit more simpler, so I'm going to leave it at crossfade. The next thing I can do is I can add audio to my slideshow. Now, if you're using a video editing software like an iMovie or Movie Maker, you can get pretty detailed about when the audio starts so you can line it up with the pictures that you want. You don't necessarily have that detailed of editing capabilities here, but uh, it is free and easy to create. So that's kind of some of the things that you give up. These are their top tracks here. Uh, you can narrow your search. Uh, by clicking on the top tracks drop down and maybe going to children's. If you want to hear any of these, you simply click on them. And if that's the one that you want, uh, you would just click upload. Once you click publish, it will upload it to YouTube. One thing you may want to do is if you click return to editing, you may want to change the privacy to unlisted. What this does is it means that you can share that link with parents, uh, but no one can search for it on YouTube. If you were to change it to private, then parents wouldn't be able to see it um, off of YouTube. While that's processing, one way that parents could download the video is if they go to keepvid.com you can copy a YouTube link paste it in here and download a video file to their computer that's completely optional they wouldn't have to do it uh, but if they wanted a copy for themselves save somewhere then that would be one way that they can do it so let's look at our slideshow You can hear our music's been added. So as I said, if you wanted to share this with parents, they could copy the link. And if, so then you could email that out if you wanted to. And if they wanted to download it, they could right click, paste in keep vid, click download, and then choose one of the options uh, for download. It looks like with the quality of pictures that we uploaded, um, this is our best option. Uh, depending on the pictures that you upload, and maybe it's because I haven't let it processed all the way yet, uh, there might be other options here for them to download.